Hi, I'm Dave. Welcome to Dave Takes It On. I get a lot of requests asking me where can you find the Tesla app and how do you install it? So this is a short video showing you just that. Now the Tesla app is for those of you who do not drive a Tesla and want to use the open to non-Tesla superchargers which are growing in number every day. Looks like there's about 300 or more chargers being added this year available to non-Tesla drivers. Check out see if there's one near you because it will be the cheapest charging price you can find accepting any special deals you may have with your manufacturer or your energy supplier. Some of those can be free or really cheap. Check out if you have any and if you do, use them. Now I cannot show you the full process of installing the app on my iPhone because I already have an account. I'm not going to delete that. So we'll show the app where it is and the initial stages of the installation. Then I will transfer to an old phone which has not got one installed and I can show you the full installation from start to finish. Obviously any names and addresses shown in this process are fictitious, no real passwords have been shown or used and no bank details have been used. The only thing you will recognise is I did use my davetakesiton at gmail.com email address. I'm happy for people to know that one. Anyway, enjoy the video. So from the home screen you just select the App Store, click the search button, go into the search window, type in Tesla, hit search and you'll get a number of options come up. Look for the red square with the white Tesla logo and click. Yours will say install as you'll see here now. This is switching on to an Android phone. So again, we're just searching for the app, type in Tesla and you'll get a lot of options. Some of them will be paid for. Again, just look for the red square with the white Tesla symbol and it says Tesla alongside it, Tesla Inc. So make sure you do that one, then click install. What will happen now, it will start downloading whatever it takes. Uh, I'm going to abbreviate some of these processes. It does, it's not an instantly quick one, but it depends on your computer speed. But when it's ready, you'll find it says installing, and then eventually that will install fully. And as soon as it's complete, it'll go to this screen. Just click the open button and the app will launch straight away. So you get the Tesla symbol and then it will open up into a moving screen. At this point, you have an option to sign in or create an account. So we're gonna create an account. Here it will ask you for your region. This is the country. So in this case, we select uh, the United Kingdom, but all the countries are here that they operate in. So just find your particular country. Here we found the United Kingdom and click on that one and then it will ask you for a uh, language which is English and then it will ask you for your first name. I'm using a fictitious name here, Fred Jones. So there's a capture then, uh, verification which means that you have to enter something to make sure it's a genuine one. It then asks you to put in a password, obviously I'm not showing that and then it opens up into this screen which straight away with the Tesla icon, and then it goes into the home page. And you can see here, you can stroll, scroll through this for the shop, you can order your car, you can charge your Tesla, and you select any of these, they scroll across. So it's all uh, available for you. Now at this point, you can uh, click on home charging, scroll across, go anywhere. This is for route planning, uh, charge your non-Tesla. So look at the top of the screen, let's click the messages. Obviously it's a new account, so there aren't any messages. So the next one along is your profile. This is Fred Jones. So you can see here, you've got some options, which is uh, all your, your contact info. Uh, so it gives you your name, your address and everything else. Uh, you've got your wallet, which is your payment method. You can choose to add a credit card, pay by direct debit, or add a uh, charging card. Uh, those are not really used, but you just follow through the process and decide whether you want to use a card or whether you want to use a bank uh, uh, direct payment method. You need a payment method before you can go any further. 
working down, you've got an order history. This is what you've ordered from the shop uh, or from the car. And uh, there's nothing in there. Next one is your charging history. Nothing in there. But again, it reminds you, please put a payment method in because we can't do it without. So it looks at charging history. Nothing. Uh, and then we're looking into now supercharging. So you can now start looking for your charger. So you'll see we've got notifications. So you can ask whether you can set, select whether you want notifications or not and how you receive them um, and uh, other details. It is very straightforward. Just go through it, enter your own details, and then you'll come back to the home page. Now, at this point, click the back arrow again and you'll go... There we go. We're back on charge your non-Tesla. So at this point, if you click that, uh, you're going to go into the Tesla app itself. And the first thing it will show you is uh, shows your home address. That's not my home address, but it also shows you any nearby chargers. So in this case, my nearest one is Manchester. So you can click on that and it will ask you if you want to charge. Charge here. If you do, you can use that button at the bottom. Charge here. If you don't, you can type in any destination. So here we're going to type in, uh, let's pick Stoke-on-Trent, shall we? Uh, I know that's an open to all one. So here we go, Stoke-on-Trent. So you just select that. The map will zoom to it. Uh, and you'll see a list of the ones underneath. Find your Trentham Gardens one, Stoke-on-Trent. It's uh, just there. And... Once we found that, it will take you to the site. So here we go, Trentham Gardens. Click on that one and it opens up. So Trentham Gardens, it now displays the price. This is for non-members, so you haven't got to pay anything at this stage. This is just the price you pay. You then need to back into a charger, select the charger that you want to use. And then as soon as you've selected that, you click on Get Started. If you have any doubts there's a how-to charge underneath so you can just click on that one the number of the charger is always on the front at the bottom ask you not to park sideways try and keep in the bays it stops other people charging if you're going across too so this at this point now you can then look for other charges if you want to they're all displayed on the on the map uh, or you can search for them individually so that's entirely your choice. In this case, you see the price, and there's two prices. There's a peak price and an off-peak price. And Tesla chargers are always like this. They do have different rates at different times of day. So there's another one we've just selected, which is Carmarthen. And this will be a different rate, slightly. Uh, but they still have the peak and the off-peak. So again, wherever you are, just click your, uh, your charger number, letter and number, and click get started and it really is as simple as that you won't need to use contactless once you've stored your payment details be that direct through the bank the backs or through a credit card the older chargers do not have any contactless terminals or screens everything has to be done through the app the newer v4s now they do have a small screen and they do have a contactless terminal so if you don't want to use your app, if you're in, in a Tesla V4, you don't have to. Well, that's it. Really simple. If you've got one near you and you don't have a better deal with either your manufacturer or your utility company, go find it and give it a try. Well, thanks very much for watching. If you have enjoyed this video, please click the like button. And if you'd like to see more, please subscribe and click the notification bell so we can notify you next time we launch a video. And a massive thank you to all our Patreon supporters. It is your support that enables us to go out and make these videos for you. So thank you very much for your contribution. I'm Dave.